again, when we look at this, we want to be able to determine what is going to have the largest side, or what is going to produce the largest angle. And in this case, we can see that b is going to produce the longest angle again. So I'll rewrite the formula for b, which is b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2 times a times c times the cosine of b. All right? So now, in this case, yes? Correct. Okay, and we'll see and we'll see uh, why in this case. So therefore, we have um, so that is b squared. So we know that's going to be five squared equals a squared plus c squared minus two times two point five times four point five times the cosine of b. Okay. Uh, that's going to be sixteen point five, um, twenty point five. Let me just. Oh, sh I forgot. Five times five is one point two five. Yeah, six point two five. And I forgot to multiply the five times five. Twenty point two five. Four. Multiply those across, and two times two point five times four point five is twenty two point five. Forgot to multiply those. All right. So now again, we can go ahead and add these up. So I have 25 equals 26.50 minus 22.5 times the cosine of b. Subtract 26.50 on both sides. So now you have negative 1.50 um, equals a negative 22.50 times the cosine of b. Now I take a negative 1.50 divided by negative 22.5, and I get 0 0.066 repeating equals the cosine of b. Again, to find b, I need to take the inverse cosine of 0 0.066 repeating. So I take that second, um, shoot, I take inverse cosine of second answer, and I get 86.17. And I'll round that to 87.18. So b equals 86.18. Now be careful, that is an obtuse angle. Or, or, I'm sorry, that's an acute angle. So therefore, when we do law of sines, we've got to be careful just to make sure we now have to include a the obtuse and the acute part of that, because it is possible for this to be another acute angle. Yes, so, or an obtuse and acute angle. If they give you like, the whole, if they give you the law of cosines, you find this angle that means it'll break the law of sines. Yeah, so now we know this angle. So b is now 86.18. Now, if you want to do the law of sines, or law of cosines for every one of these angles, that's fine. Well, that's a little bit of work, right? So what I would prefer to do is, yeah, do the law of cosines. 5 over 86.18 is equal to, what do you want to do? C, A, anybody? C, let's do C. So C is, we don't know what angle C is, so it's 4.5 over the sine of C. So now we go to law of sines, where I can say the sine of c is equal to 86.18. Um, sorry, that's the sine of that. So 4.5 times the sine of 86.18 divided by 5. So I do 4.5 times the sine of 86.18, divide that by 5. And then I take the inverse sine of c equals sine inverse of 0.89812344462. Use that whole answer. So the inverse sine, second answer, is c equals 63.89. So that's the acute angle. Is it possible for it to have the obtuse? Yes, technically. So we need to figure out what that obtuse angle is. So what I'll do is I'll take, so that's case one. What about case two? For case two, we take 180 degrees minus 
eight, nine. That could be the other possible angle. OK, Caroline? So I do 180 minus that answer, and I get 116. So for case two, my angle C equals 116.10. Is it possible for C to be 116 if that's already 86? No. So therefore, we only have one case. All right. But remember, when you are doing law of signs and you have only one acute angle, you have to check for two cases. All right. But there's only one case, so we're good. So now, oops, forgot to write the answer. All right, so C equals 63.90. Now, the last thing to find A, we can use the law of signs if you want to. However, girls, it'd be much simpler rather than doing A. Kobe, are you writing this down? OK, let's move over here to the seat, because I think you're having a problem with this, because I'm not seeing a sheet of paper nor a pencil, but you just said you were writing it down. So let's go and move over to there so you can have this. Um, so A, rather than doing law of sines or law of cosines for a missing angle A, we can just take 180 minus 63.90 minus 86.18. So 180 minus 63.90 minus 86.18. And you get 29.92. OK. And guys, you can always go back and check your answer by adding them all up, making sure it adds up to 180. Yes. Yes. I am looking for Aaron Land for checkout. OK.